Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to bust through the blinds of the energy on my mind. This reading will be focused on foodie beauty. Let's ask some questions. It's a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. But let's ask some questions and see what the cards have to say. If you want to support what I do here and you're not already, please consider subscribing. Thanks, guys. Love you. Let's see what's going on with Chantal's energy and Handsome's husband. Please, me in, please, to Chantal. Show me Chantal's energy. What's representing Chantal right now? Uh, what's going on with the things she just uploaded about, you know, it was obviously click, uh, clickbait, the title, but show me what's going on with that. Because I, uh, what I'm feel, I already got some feels, but the cards don't always tell me what I feel within, so I trust the cards more than my feels. Tell me... That's Bijou, sorry. All right, all right, all right. The chariot. So, this is about, like, all this caca that Chantal just spewed in this recent upload about, you know, I'm on this new path. She kind of is, in a way, because she's giving control of who's driving the chariot to Handsome's husband. Now, I will say this. I went off about this in the dinghy rant video, which I made private, so it's not like deleted, but I made it private, where I talked about why I get like triggered by Goyle World in general. It has a lot to do with when certain people, like Amberlynn, especially Foodie, talk about, oh, like this is what I'm eating and it's healthy. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like, no, it isn't. And they give, it's like obvious that neither of them have ever like looked into nutrition in any sort of way. I never took a course, but it, it might not sound like it the way I talk, but I can read. Anyway, and I have my own health issues. And they're not the same as what Foodie and Amberlynn deal with, like, it's like, but stuff with the gut, for sure. And, yeah, anyway, they just do so many things wrong. It just is so irritating. All right. Um, so, even giving, I really hope that part of Salah's handsomest husband's taking the reins of this situation, the situation here, is to take the course that she was supposed to take, I don't know how many, like, how long ago, um... All right, show me more about this chariot. Okay, the marriage, Knight of Swords. So I'm gonna say like Salah's energy, Hensmith's husband, his energy is in and out, like it has been. I don't think that's gonna change. Like the way the audience has always been like, oh, it's like he's there and he's not there and he's back and forth. And so I'll clarify this maybe to see deeper what that's about, but this is about, all right, all right, I can clarify, but what I'm feeling is when Chantal was doing what she was doing in, you know, in Bangkok, right? Um, so all that stuff she was just saying in her recent upload about, you know, Handsome's husband, I told him I have such and such and this and that going on, but you know, he didn't really understand until he was like living with me you know, back and forth in this, like, kind of, I feel like he, he definitely had to have an idea, and if he didn't, then that's even more reason, I mean, I'm gonna clarify this, but that's even more reason to believe that he's not there as someone, like, like a traditional husband all the time, because how would you not know she's been, all right, anyway, I feel like, um, with, when she was in Bangkok, right, he feels like she embarrassed the religion, uh, the faith, that she's supposed to be following by her behaviors, the way she spoke, um, poop in her pants. I just saw it in my head and I didn't want to see that. All right. It's not <laughs> like all of that, like, it, like just be being Chantal. Okay. So I really need to know, I'm going to clarify all three of these cards because this is saying to me that right now Chantal has willingly handed over the reins of control 
to handsome, handsomest husband. And I need to know deeper what she feels about this. Does this make her turned on? Like, is this something she enjoys to be controlled, to be stopped, her behaviors to be forcibly stopped by someone that, you know, is in the seat, taking the reins? Uh, is this person, handsomest husband, back and forth, physically, like, in... Is this going to be one? I just saw... Oh, my God. So, I just saw... Remember when they, she first got there in the beginning and he locked... She couldn't get out because she was, like, the door locked from, like, with that... Like, like he... I just saw that. So, he might start locking her, locking the door when he's not there so that she can't, you know, get deliveries or order takeout or do whatever. All right, and also I feel like this is here because he's not, he's back and forth. Like, he's not there all the time to know what she's doing, enough to control her. And, uh, yeah, I feel like this is here for what the reasons I just said. You was there. Like, embarrassing the faith, um, not following the faith, not being, like, it's a joke. Like, like, I just saw it, like, you know, the way she behaved, the way she spoke, the way she was, the edibles, all of it. All right, so I need to know, show me more, please, about this Knight of Swords, which I feel is connected to him being in and out of the, like, the living space. Because this could say to me that they are married, okay, in whatever sort of way. And that, you know, this is just his energy in the relationship. That he go, he leaves the, the space as much as possible. He needs his space. And then he comes in and he's like, Chantal, oh my God, you ate all my ice cream sandwiches and the oh, three little chicken, rotisserie chickens. All right, not, good, not a great impersonation. Not going to stop me from doing it. But show me the Knight of Sword, why it's here. Show me why this is here. Or show me a little more about this Knight of Sword energy. Ugh, so. The fool on the bottom. A lot came out. We have our fool. Our doofy, goofy, doesn't learn from the pet. So. This, yeah, and with the love, I want the love. All right, all right. He could have gave her an ultimatum. Like, you made, you made not just yourself look stupid and like a fool. You embarrassed yourself. It's not, you know, you embarrassed me. You embarrassed the faith. Like, um, like, you make it so hard for me to want to be affectionate with you, to want to take the love that you say you want to offer, and I don't, I don't really feel like drinking from your cup, uh, this Wheel of Fortune, so, like, he's basically saying, if you don't take control of this, uh, you can just take your cup and go back to Canada, Canadia, wherever the hell, how you, <laughs> and she was like, she was like, no, 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 I'm sorry, it's just, I, I, it's hard for me to learn from my mistakes. And you were naive about how, like, big a deal this issue of mine is. It's not your fault. I should, you know, um, please don't push away my love. Mon cherry. Uh, I will allow you to take control. Because I, sh I should sure can't. Right. So, I feel like this has to do... Alright, the Five of Wands, the Moon, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. So, these two could have, like, some sort of, oh god, I want to see it, um, 
there might be some like weird thing where I, I don't see intimacy in the way like uh, I feel like part of their relationship is like Chantal does things for ha- handsome's husband which she or he even says is like your wifely duties <laughs> oh my god um use your your imagination there's a lot of wands here and cups like wands and then cups um holes things happening with <laughs> and I'm going to say that, you know, this is my, sometimes this person's loony in the moony card, things that are hidden. I feel like, like Salah has like said, whatever little bit of affection or weird thing they had going on. Because I feel like there was something going on here with wands and cups. And, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's something that would definitely be viewed by us as, like, like keep that in the dark. We don't want to know about that. It could be stuff that has to do with what came out with Kybella. Meaning the way that he was speaking to Kybella. Right? Like, in that, you know, things he wanted her to do. That could be something in their relationship. Um, and maybe that's why Chantal was so angry when that did happen. Because, you know, she felt like that was a part of himself that he only shared with her or something. Alright? Um, yeah. So, I almost just felt this. I don't know if part of this whole thing with allow like allowing Salah, I'm gonna clarify it. Like like this whole thing, this whole video that this person made, talking about how they have con- you know they're my you know my husband and they're gonna they're gonna decide stuff. <sighs> he could have been like, yeah, this is gonna happen, or I'm gonna leave totally, or I'm gonna like let out some, in, like, like things that have gone on between us. Like, things that Chantal doesn't want <clears throat> us to know. And it could be the stuff I just mentioned. Because I just felt all that, and it's like, ew, why did I, you know, why was I, because I did do reading on Kaibala when all that situation happened, and da-da-da. So I was, like, seeing stuff from that. And I know that she was upset, like, people are bringing it up, and she was, like, rah, 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 raging about it, but it wasn't that. Like, I was legit seeing things, ugh. So, anyway, um, I don't know if he literally, like, threatened her in a way. Like, you're gonna do this, like, for reals, for reals, and since you can't, I'm going to take the reins and take control of this because um, I just heard, like, certain promises were made. I feel like she was supposed to take him to Canada. I feel like that was part of their whole thing of getting together. And I feel like if he's still with her in any sort of whatever this is for them, paperwork was or just an agreement verbally, da-da-da, saying it, I feel like he's in it because... He's supposed to get something out of this. And I feel like it was to go to Canada. Um. So. I I know. Look, general being for entertainment only. I don't know. I just felt all that weird shit. So I said it. Um. Because I almost feel like a fear here. With this ten of wands. And I mean, this could also be here because lately when they've been getting Ten of Wands for Amber or Chantal, I'm like, I feel like it's showing how they've gained more and it's more difficult for them to just like get around. Like walking is painful. It is work just walking around for these people. Uh, yeah, but this here and this cup. And I, I, I do feel like this. So, all right, all right. So I need to see more about 
this chariot. Because I feel like this is the agreement. Like, this is Chantal being like, yeah, you have control now, so well. So show me, why is this here? Page of Sword. So, mm, this is sometimes like a spy. Sometimes it's us, like, getting information, finding information out. I mean, it could have to do with how Salah was watching Chantal. She, he could have been watching her or having someone watch her or report back to him or something. Like, while she was traveling. Or he found something out. Show me a little more. Why is this here? Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, um... You know, this trip... Could have been like a test. In Salah's eyes. Like, maybe that's what, maybe the, so when we were all like, we know he's not showing up, right? I really felt that, that Chantal, for the majority of the time, was still hopeful that he was actually going to come. And I think he didn't come because he was sitting and watching. Like, I think when he got back, he was like, Chantal, I did not come because I was watching you make a hot mess, fool of yourself, making a fool of, you know, what I said there, you was a, uh, embarrassing yourself, me, our love, raging about Nader, like all that crap, bringing up Kybella, like all of it, <laughs> right? You know, that raging bullshit. Uh, and it's like, look, if you want to have this new start, no more repeating these same behaviors. Uh, let's take this seriously. And maybe also, don't talk about people from the past. I think he had a conversation about that. Like, he doesn't want to hear her talk about Nader, Kybella, like any of that. And this also could be like, in the chat, all the talking, the the egging on, like, uh, he might feel stupid too. I don't know if he, you know, realizes like how st stupid he sounds, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just think he's like, like he's not happy no more. Or, like, I feel like he's saying, uh, like, how could you be happy like this? He may have said those words to him. Um, I think this is here because it's like, take the faith seriously. Take the fact, like, all of this. You were supposed to go make content. You could have actually helped uh, get this channel, like, your channel in a stronger place. You could have shown yourself in a different light, traveling on your own, um, doing things that make you happy. There was a lot of things to do near where you were staying. Uh, and you just sat in the room feeling sorry for yourself, like, I'm sick, I'm sick. And then coming home and kind of saying the same thing. All right, I really think he put his foot down, like, like I'm your husband, Chantal. All right, so since he's the handsomest husband, and uh, he's in charge now, he's in charge, and I think I am very happy. I love to control things. Do what I say, I will lock you outside. I love you, Chantal. I mean, 
I think these two are made for each other. <laughs> I do think this is here. I don't think I've ever seen this. Like, ever. <laughs> have I ever got lovers cut? For... I must have. But I feel like I've seen this here because it's like Chantal feels loved. That someone is controlling the situation. Um, and I think Hinsman's husband gets turned on. Like, by having control, feeling like he has physical, physical control of where the money's gonna go, like, if this person, what they're gonna put in their mouth even, like, the hand, this person's putting their hand in the, li in the line's mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. All right, all right, show me where the hair from here. The devil in reverse. All right. Um, so, so, when you get a devil, like, upright, it's like, obsession, toxicity, ah, unbounded things that are unhealthy, ah. but in reverse, that's us releasing it, and, like, releasing ourselves from the, the bound, the, so, I think this has to do, it's clarifying, I just feel like what, it, what I felt about it having to do with Salah feeling like the religion not being ta you know like making a joke of it and, and being an embarrassment and also that the food thing for handsomest husband is part of the you know faith in a lot of ways yeah so I think he really came down hard about that and the Ten of Cups, it's like, if you want to have this friendship, this relationship, whatever the hell, whatever's going on here, this agreement, this marriage, what, however, the, um, the star is about healing. And it's like, Shanta, you say uh, you, I am your dream come true. Well, Shari, handsome as husband, I love you. Mm, don't leave me. Mm, and it's 69. It's like, he's like, listen, uh, you're gonna have to fight off those urges. If you want my wand, in that cup there, doing that weird stuff that we do, and maybe they do, because like, you know, I mean, I'm not making assumptions, but from what came out, it seems like he might like stinky poo-poo stuff, and Chantal likes to be stinky poo-poo stuff. I mean, maybe it is a match made in heaven. Maybe these two are, you know, soulmates. Now, look, soulmates, I don't talk about Twin Flame stuff. And that's a whole other thing. If you guys want to leave in the comments, I'll go off on that if you want. I mean, I made a small video about it, but I could get more in depth about how I feel about that and that the da and so on, blah, blah, blah. But soulmates are, you know, they're not just lovers, they're friends, um, parents, siblings, friends, pets. They're relationships, okay? And it's also sometimes the people that we, we mirror or that we feel complete us or change the course of who we are, things like that. Alright. As we were reading, I don't know, this is what I saw there, guys. If there's stuff I didn't ask that you wish I had, leave it in the comments and let me know. If you want to request a reading on certain people or zodiac signs, leave it in the comments. If you want to help me in the algorithm, but you don't have anything else to say, you can leave a fly or heart emoji. Um, and, yeah, if you want a personal reading, send me an email. If you want to donate to me, you can buy me a coffee. I love you guys. Thanks for watching to the end. And let's heal ourselves so we can heal each other. Um, good luck, Chantal. <laughs> I'll see you next time.